Me, me personally, like, like, like being like a governor of Queens, it's, it's hard to focus on one thing. It's like I gotta balance my life out. You know what I'm saying? So what's the other things you focus on? Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm a good father. I'm president of PTA in the school. Get you know the what I'm fuck out of here, yeah. yeah, yeah, you fucking well, clap for that, man. We clapping for that. I'm, 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 I'm we a, respect that. I'm, I'm a young. I'm a football coach. You know what I mean? I coach kids football, so I do a lot of shit like that. But that's what balance. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to On the Child. I'm your host, Tragedy Gaddafi, along with my co-host, Mr. Act. Hear it on the child. The guest comes through and makes their signature what up, what up? just for you. Food for thought, real conversation. Y'all make sure y'all do the dishes on the child. Let's go. And we got a very special guest today. All our guests are special, but this guest in particular has a very, very, very unique history. And he's a different type of dude, man. Oh, man. Hold on, let me talk about you, baby. Let me do this, man. Let me do this. We got, we got the ghetto millionaire, AKA the Grand Capo. Stop me when I'm wrong. No, no, I ain't stopping you yet. AKA the Grand, <laughs> keep going. AKA the Grand Capo. Keep going. AKA the mobile fucking governor. Governor right? of Queens. Oh man, you might have made the first bling record. Man. I think that's a fact. You might have did that. You might have made the first bling record, right? Let's talk about it, man. Um, we got Royal Flush here, man. Happens to be a, a, a definitely a, flush, flush. I'm clapping. Yes, yes. Were you clapping? clapping? Yes. I'm clapping. Let me clap then, man. I'm clapping for it, you know. Nobody clap for me, I'ma clap for myself. Clap for that's no, right, we, as you should. Ain't, 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 ain't no, that's right. We you get that from who? You. Say it louder. I get that from you, bro. Like, ah! <laughs> Listen, oh man, good things, man. We out here, man, and I want to say this, man. Uh, we coming through this, through the COVID, uh, and uh, getting to this episode, man. A lot of challenges, man. A lot of things going on, you know, affecting the world affecting everybody but um you know we making it through and i feel real blessed to have you here man i feel real nah, blessed man. to be in this moment right now and have good things man. around me man good energy man but i i, I want to talk about royal flush let's get into it man let's get into it you I love that shit too yeah, right? well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love that shit oh, let's <laughs> talk about my yeah. goddamn self man let's i was off for the talk money. about it uh royal flush like i said earlier man previously man you might have made the first. I think you did make the first plane right there. You know, I, I, I rocked with you for a minute. Some, you know, some lightly, but uh, for those of y'all that don't know, man, like I had to go in and really do my homework too because you could rock with somebody and not know the details and in particular, mm -hmm. you know, and just respect them as an artist and as a human being. So I just went into it and I was like, yo, wait a minute, he made the first jewelry record in a sense. Like, Nobody yeah, exactly. was focusing on that. And that was what, 1997? Yeah, 97. Yeah. Now your last drop, your last commercial drop was 2019. Let's move forward and talk about from 2019 on. What was 2019? What was that album? Um, those were just mixtapes, those were just mixtapes. But I, I, I did a song, uh, a single with Uncle Murder. Okay. Yeah, like it's legal. Yeah, but those are just mixtapes, though. That shit bangs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit bangs. Yeah. I got a couple of invites to the strip clubs. That shit bangs. Oh, my God. You gave God. me, like, two. Like it's legal. I did, like, 30, but I only got, like, two invites. Nah. That, that, that time, and it's in, oh, it's going to strip clubs and promote your singles sucks, man. That shit was the worst. <laughs> you look real comfortable. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got a couple dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were everywhere. You got a couple of dollars. Yeah, I got a couple of dollars. But so it was all right, but, um, yeah, that, that part sucked. But, yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely, um, Definitely put my, my, my foot in this shit, man. Put my heart in this game. Took it from nothing to something, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. You make you do it so effortlessly, too. So, like, I mean, I I, I say this earlier, and this is with respect to to Mike Gerardo. Mm. I love Mike Gerardo. I love Mike G. Me, too. But I know you do. But um, I always say, I always say, like, because I don't want to offend nobody. You know what I'm saying? But I always say how, you know, you could have fell in the sidekick lane. <laughs> Like you could have been robbing. Yeah, right, right, right. But for you not to be robbing, I don't know if everybody else noticed, but I did. You know, I I, I try to keep one eye open at least, like a cyclops. But I don't know if everybody else noticed, but you could have fell into the robbing lane, but you kind of turned that shit around. I see you. Yes. I mean, me, me and him, our charisma was, you know, was 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 Batman and Robin. So. <laughs> 
it was always like he had to play with my part when it comes to streets and shit like that. You know what I mean? So we helped each other. Yeah. And, and, and he brought me on the game. Ah, uh, got me. But but even, even when he kicked it with me, he always said, you know, I, I'm, I'm passing the torch to you. That's what's up. Yeah. I mean, so he, he knew at the time when he brought me in, it was for me to outshine him and and be further because he seen more in me than he did himself. We can hold the torch together, but I will not pass the torch to you because you won't pass it back to me. No, <laughs> after a while. After a while, I mean, oh, man. Should I shake your head on that? I, was, I mean, a while could be like like ten minutes. Oh man, or could be much longer. But let's just don't. I just, I just, yeah, it's, it's just it's no final. I'm fucking you. I'm fucking you. Um, um, more. A lot of people don't. Uh, a lot of people don't even realize like the uh, the impact you had in the game. Like you one of the few artists who, I mean, you came out with Ghetto Millionaire, and I believe too. I hope I'm not being windy, but this is this is an artist who I respect, and it shows because I've done crazy records with him. But, but I won't lie, Flush, we met when we was younger. Um, yes, a couple times. No, no the, the first real time we met, I was out in Flushing, and um, the block party. It was I was Keisha. At, yeah, 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 I was at the block right, party. Right. Mackie. Right, right. Yeah, I was on, I was on, I was on one of them things. She looked like Pocahontas, and your name kept coming up, and I'm like, who's that dude, yo? And then I see that when I, I heard your name over there, and then I went to Queensbridge, and I heard your name too, and I was like, oh, who's this dude? I hear his name over there, and now I hear his name in my hood. So that's that that goes to show like you're one of the one of the few artists. Everybody likes you. I don't know how you don't make enemies. That's that's an acquired skill. I mean, a, a nigga told me he ain't like me because he said I answered my phone call. So if that's your only excuse, boy, then God. I mean, there's no reason not to like me. I'm, I'm going to make you feel comfortable in all situations. I don't give a fuck. You're making me feel comfortable right now. Thank you. <laughs> but, but nah, seriously, everybody likes you. Everybody got love for you, man. Like Definitely. That, you, 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 you. If I could term it, if I could put a title on it, I would call you like the liaison dog. Because liaison dawn, I'm like nice that. with my shit. I'm about something. But look, I, I would like call that. you the liaison dawn because like you're connected to everybody and everybody got love for you, man. Like that that says a lot about your character as a as a you know, as a street dude, as an artist. And speaking of your artistry, man, I, I, it's it's hard not to talk about my man because he's so the dude shines like I've been in the studio with him. Let's talk about his fucking process. Yeah. You ever been in the studio with him? I have, yeah, nah. The way Flux records is crazy. I think working with both of y'all is ill to see how everyone creates differently. Like, yes. Trad, you put a beat on, he'll, he'll sit there and no. He'll bang you can that put shit out. Any beat Anything. on Stevie Wonder, Anything. church music, and he'll, he'll Muslim sit there music, and write that shit until it's done. And, 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 until it's done. <laughs> I, I write. <laughs> When I when I get in it, when I'm working on a song, I like to take it and sit alone and write my shit. When you get in the booth, I I I, you, I, I, I yeah, you it was like, when I hear a beat, I I, I put a whole movie together. Yeah. So once I hear the beat, I, like like I tell people, like a lot of people they want to be in, in, in a race, but you start at the start line, but they don't see the finish line. Mm. So a lot of people start a race, but don't know where the finish is. Mm. So if you're gonna start something, you don't see the finish line. There's no ending to your story. So me, anything I do, I see a start and a finish. Keep it so, on top. Yeah, it keeps it. So once I know I'm completed, I'm halfway through the race, um, finish the race, then I accomplish my mission. But if I went in there and just looking at a start, let, I would have never finished that. Let, let's delve into that a bit, though. Because yeah. it's, it's more than that. Because I've, I've been there. Like, yeah. And, um, like, you, you, you know, I was taught that, you know, if you don't qualify, don't speak on it. I qualify to say this. Like, I've been around a lot of artists. Me, myself, obviously, an artist. I've been this a long time. Like, there's three things I learned from you, like that that a lot of people try to tell me over the years, but I just couldn't embrace it. One was, like, yo, son, yo, you go over people's head. Yes. And I and I peep how your process would be. You would say witty things and witty lines and witty balls, but you would keep it simple. And I ain't gonna lie, like I. I I can't say I can't learn from a lot of people, but I really learn from that. Like I really, I, I tell you all the time too. Like I ain't gonna fake no jacks. I tell you all the time because like I, I, I took that bracelet you gave me. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that was like, yo, wow, he's right, man. Because he's like, yo, son, like 
don't go over niggas' head. You know what I'm saying? Don't go over nobody's head. Like, keep it at a certain point. And when I seen the way he did it, me, myself, I'm always going to be a lyricist. I don't want to take away from flush and flush, and, you know, flush talking, but I'm a lyricist. I'm very passionate about it. So when you said it to me, it was one thing, all right. But then when I saw him do it, I got it. Because I was like, yo, how do you say something so clever with so many little words? And you showed me that process, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to always appreciate that. Another thing I noticed about you too, man, like, you, whatever you do, however you do it, you'll go in the booth, you won't write it down, and you'll go line for line just on the vibe. Line for line. That's a certain, that takes a certain kind of skill. It, it does, but, but the, the only bad thing with that, though, when you're doing a song with a whack nigga, I'm giving you that whack energy. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only bad thing when you go in there and tap That's some ill Cause for a check, nigga, for a check sometimes. I mean, but I, I'm still picky on that. But <laughs> niggas could be whack to me. Don't you clean that shit up. Don't you clean that shit up. That's some ill shit though. I mean, you know, but I, I did songs with a lot of good niggas, but I'm, you know, that, I, I move off of the energies. You know what I'm saying? So you, you get the best out of me. Like, there's not a time I get in the studio with trash, I know I'm coming in there for war. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving my best. Cause, Cause you dope, nigga. I feel like you gotta go at my head, no, no free. I mean, at the end of the day, I right, take right. my head off. I, I, nah. When I like, wow. I mean, cause you I dope. I never heard this shit. No. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. Nigga, and when I when I was young, I had the Word Up magazine, and it was you. I had you on my fucking wall, my nigga, in my room. Like, so I admire you, my nigga. So, yes, you, you, you're a good influence for me. You make me definitely go. And look how life is, man. You, you have oh, we, you we, oh, we you're good friends now. We and, I, and, I, and I walk with you. So now, let's get to this, man. Uh -huh. Where you at right now with it, right? Where you, at, where you at with it right now? You dropped, you dropped the album in 2019. Why you ain't drop another album after that? I mean... Me, me, me personally, like, like, like being like a governor of Queens, it's, it's hard to focus on one thing. It's like I gotta balance my life out. You know what I'm saying? So what's the other things you focus on? Oh, I'm, I mean, I'm a good father. I'm president of the PTA of the school. Get you know the what fuck saying? out of here, yeah. soccer guy. Yeah, yeah you fucking well, clapping for that, man. We're clapping for that. I'm, 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 I'm a, respect that. I'm, I'm a young. I'm a football coach. You know what I mean? I coach kids football, so I do a lot of shit like that. But that's where balance. You know what I'm saying? Like it was even one time, like me, I, I get money. I'm in the streets. And my kids would look at me and be like, I don't live a regular life. So I even had to go get a job just to show my kids to get up in the morning is, is about something. So I'm, I'm more I'm more motivation than that. But that's what makes me the governor. I try to keep anything balanced, man. What's up, man? We respect that, man. Thank we you, bro. That. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, man, you too much, man. I'll shoot a nigga in a minute. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> I see a nigga some that. good gift. I see a nigga good game. That's right. Good, a good, some good balls. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what are we doing today, man? Like, I'm going to keep it greenberry with you. Mm -hmm. I've been feeling a lot of pressure from Ag. I feel like I'm alone in this. The main reason why you're here right now is because we having a battle. Alone in what? Oh. I'm going to get to that. Oh. I'm going to get to that. You've been, you, you been oh. on my side a little bit. It's all right. Oh. I'm with you, though. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. I'm used to being alone <laughs> anyway, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um. He's making a piece. He fell a certain way in the store. He's like, let me see his list. I said, nah, I can't do that. He's like, what? I asked you for your list. Everybody we get on the show, they give a list. They give their ingredients. They give it ahead of time. It takes a lot of preparation to do this. This is a different kind of show. It's not just something we jump on and, you know. To make it easy. Yeah, no, we got to get you. We got to get your ingredients. We have to go buy it. We have to make sure we have it ahead of time. We have to make sure everything is on point. So. Production wise, this is a lot, man. Like it's it's a it's a it's a real challenge for us sometimes. And uh, I'm glad you came through because I you know you know how it is when it's family, it's like ah I'm gonna you know I'm gonna get to him. But I, I but, appreciate it. But I was feeling a little pressure because I'm like, damn. See what what a lot of y'all don't know is that this dude, this dude has a culinary <laughs> certification. And I wanna put that out there right now because later on when we judge the burgers. Like, I wanted to be known that I never went to school for cooking. You went to school for cooking, right? Yeah. What was that like, man? How, how long you went to school for? I did 18 months. Wow. Uh, 18 it's like a month. big. Yeah. yeah. It was cool. And but, cooking. Yeah. 
That's a lot of things. <laughs> I bet you make ill breakfast, yo. I wanted to get you on here for a breakfast episode. I ain't playing. Nah, I mean, plus make the ill waffles and the when you go to when you go to shit. school, that you kind of pick what you want. It's like you know, Rosetta Stone, or you want you want to learn a different language. So when I went in, I started off with Italian, and I started off with with with, with um, Vietnamese food, exotic, so I, exotic shit, and Sexy. then, and then I, like I knew how to bring it to soul food. So you know what I'm saying. So a lot of things I do with soul food, I bring in these other other continents. See, the setup, up, Listen, um, <laughs> so did you did you get a certificate when you yes, got yes, yes. I, I mean, wish you would have brought it. I mean, there's a lot. Like, you got it. It's in the car. Yeah. Oh, I, got I got it. But I mean, there's a lot of things that, I, like, when I'm home and I do shit. You know, like, I, I went online and did my my barber's license just to have it. And they got something where you can work real. When people go out, they got to yeah, use the fire. Yeah, no, nah, I just I just do it though. I just do it. Fuck it. I like how you just. I like how you. Just, Oh, man, you can learn a lot from you, man. When you go to the street, nigga, you gotta learn, you know what I mean? Other things. best. <laughs> Yo, but the other night, we was, uh, we was talking to so we was talking to Isaiah. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of telling him that we was doing this, and he was like, Yo, I don't know, man. I was yeah. like, Yo, man, what the fuck, man? Ain't nobody Trying on started my side. getting a little, he was questioning, he was like, Is this a good idea? I don't know if this is a good idea. My battle is I did that. I did not do nah, that. You didn't do that. <laughs> oh, you know why though? Cause, cause, I, I, cause on Thanksgiving I cook a big like I do a jerk turkey, I do a regular turkey. So I do like five different. Oh turkeys. shit! I was never invited. I'm sorry. But Isaiah <laughs> came to it too. <laughs> so he knows. Maybe he, he 2021. He seen me cook. Nah, but 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 you know what though? The reason why I was like I didn't sleep on you, cause one time I was actually making some fried chicken and you came in the kitchen. And, and the point is, was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. at the mansion, right? Yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, you that, know that was actually one time I knew you could cook for me. Oh, yeah, so you know yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when I seen the seasoning, say okay. it. You, you good, nigga. <laughs> 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 yo, you know what though? This is what I like though. You know what? We're gonna do this right here, man. And we're gonna have, we're gonna have three, at least three people judge it that are partial. And, you know, without knowing, I can't but, go on. But, I can't but, be a judge. This is my man. I kept it light. Like, it's like, it's like, what we doing right now is burgers. That's like a nigga having a French fry contest. Yo, mm. it's even greasy. Yo, 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 it's even no, 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 I can't give you a head start when you good too, but this is something we both, it's, it's easy, nigga. We both can make french fries. Let's just see who keep them in longer. Ooh. That's it. Ooh, I tried to told you, I like that, I Sizzle. like that, man. You must have ate some Cajun food. You took real spicy. Oh, food. yeah. Oh, you gonna get this thing going. Yeah, so, Tragedy Gaddafi with my co-host, Mr. Act. What up, what up? Royal Flush. Yes, yes, baby. And we're officially on the chow. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the, listen, this, this, is only, this is only the second episode, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm popping up on all of them. I don't give a fuck. This is the third. The third? I'm popping up on all of them. Fuck that. Yeah, my family, I will show up. We're going to make this shit right. But but, but definitely, fellas, I just before we start cooking, I, I definitely commend y'all. Like, this is dope. This is fly. I love what y'all doing. I respect it. I'm here for it. I'm going to support it. And I think everybody else should support it, my nigga. Thank you know what I'm saying? Well, that's, a, that's the only thing with our generation, man. We all got love for each other, but we don't got support for each other. Mm. And these young dudes, they don't love each other, but they support each other. See well, you know difference? what? You know what? As long as, long as you supporting us, and we support that's all that fucking count. Everything ain't for everybody, man. Let's get down. Let's, don't try to be my friend now. Yeah, because we got some Because you know what? We to about to, to battle, and I feel like you're trying to rock me to sleep. When we come back, we coming back with the burger battle to see who makes the best burger. Oh. Now, I, I want y'all to keep in mind, this nigga graduated from cooking school. <laughs> Say it again. He graduated from cu culinary Say art school. Tragedy Gaddafi on the chow. We be back with the battle. You know I'm going to wash your ass, bro. <laughs> love, it, love, it, love it, love it, love it, love it. We on the chat. Boom. You know what? Mike Tyson's the rock. Remember? Yeah, he's rocking. Yeah, he's Let's get to this. Listen, so we're going to make these burgers uh, on the grill. Right. We're going we're gonna to have, I think we're going to have like four judges. 
Mr. Ad is gonna go through it with us and let y'all know what we doing in terms yeah, of not, no gloves off. Yeah, he's not talking no gloves off. I'm not touching nothing except my cup. Nigga, I'm always ready, so I ain't gotta get ready. See what we do. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, back for a second time. Step back. I notice there's no onions on the table. Oh, no onions. Well, we got to report that onions have the silk. Salmonella? Salmonella. I said it right. You said it right. But then I later heard it was red onions from my man Mach. Mach was on point with everything. Uh, all day with everything. He was like, yo, it's you, not right. Mach name? I said Mach. You I, said you, it earlier. You can't use the same person. That was your segue? Yeah, that's my that's my lifeline. Nigga. But as he puts his beef in the bowl before me. I'm just gonna be perusing in the background. Hey yo, it's a line I said on Watch me and Trash. I said, niggas want beef, but they call pork. Just think about that later. My style is impetuous. Oh, speaking about me, my defense is impregnable. Woo. Yo, should I go there? Should no. I go there? Of course you should. No, don't tell him that. So look. It's a little burger mix I use for my shit. It's nice. A couple people do it, but it's hair burger mix. It's good. Just to throw it in. Because I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person, like, I'm not with all, like, the onions and the big red peppers. I'm not making a meatloaf. I'm making a burger. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it burger. There is a difference. It's, it's a so big difference. Wow. You have no shame. That was two hours ago, nigga. <laughs> you have no that's shame. How you pass the torch, right? that's, that's, yeah. No shame. If I go to the gym and see you box, I'm going to tell you your move. Nigga. Speaking of boxing, I'm not going to talk too much. Mike Tyson, Roy Jones is coming see, out. He threw ketchup in his, in his burger. I'm not going to talk, but that's some shit so to do with spaghetti. You do that spaghetti, you get that little spike. But, guys, I, I hear you do that. Guys, do that, do that. Listen, man, I'm going to take but so much, man. I'm just trying it's to knobs and shit around. I'm gonna take for so much. <laughs> now nah, we on the chat. Everything's peace. This is my bro right here. Actually, I gotta respect it. Like it's a compliment to me to actually battle him with the burgers. Cause like I said earlier, prior to he actually went to cooking school. You went to culinary school, right? No, I mean, cause I commend you on that, bro. the corner. I know you went to the corner, and when you went around the corner, you went Chinese, to culinary school. No, Chinese food. All right, bro. I, I commend you on that. You did something I ain't So, look, I, I think everybody um, that makes a burger, you should definitely throw garlic, olive oil in your wow. shit. You got to do that. I feel like this shit is fixed. What's that, ketchup? Yeah, I put a little ketchup in my burger, man. Don't so, send it. Right? Don't send it. Oh, you use the olive oil? I put the olive oil in after. Yeah. yeah. For what? Don't beat it up too much. All right? Mm, Take nice the juices guy. out of it, baby. I know you're nice, baby. Is my mic on? Let me see this. Mike, so, Mike, Mike, I, I, Mike, I, I, Mike. So I, I usually wow. do this for my co-host. Didn't even have my man, resume. Stop it. Yeah, he yeah. bought that shit last night. I'm still making it up, right? I'm just well, separate. I'm out. It's a separate shopping trip. The only reason why this is happening because his partner, his co-host, with him, I sent him my ingredients and he helped me down. Trash was asking, what did he do? What did he put? And he helped me down. So they got a little no, people but, but seriously, let's get to it. What do you what do you put in your burger? Oh, you use ranch. Yes, yes, yes. Is but, that dill ranch? Yes. That's but, actually mine. No, no, no. You no. didn't request that. I didn't. I'm shocked. You didn't request that, but you're about to open it up. Okay, yeah. baby. That shows me you're a little nervous. Do you see his tricks? <laughs> yeah, nah, ain't no tricks. I bought that yesterday. Did we not buy that for me? I, I, I didn't buy it. You who was his yeah, ingredients? That Did wasn't he not, say yeah. he wanted it? Come on, don't, no, don't, don't. That was not on the list. Keep it all the way greenberry. That was not on the flush. So, so let, me, let me tell the whole story. That was not on the flush. So list. I said, you know, I like the ranch tell shit. Tell the whole lie again. So I said, I like the ranch shit. So you're not it. I don't need so to say much. Even earlier today, I said, we both can use it. But I just, I just need a sprinkle of it, though. Ah. Huh? Do what you got to do to win, that's baby. That's it. Oh, that's what they said? That's what I said. But look, that's it, though. Look, we making a burger. We ain't making lasagna. I don't need too much. Oh, that's it. All right. It's uh, crazy. They actually it by hand. my ingredients. Let's go in. That's an integrity. <laughs> when, yeah. When Cardi B said Cobra me, Commander. If your shit, shit don't get right over here. Push it on. So, so, so I like to put, nah, I like to put a little onion mix in my joint. 
and um, just give it a little oniony flavor. You know, um, I respect that though, because that's not a excuse whole me. onion. Excuse me, no, I'm serious, excuse me. I'm, right. trying, I'm just trying just, to Just funny. do what you do, I'll let you talk. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I put a little onion in there, not too much, just to give it a little kick, you know what I mean? A little, little kick, but as you can see, you know, the cooking school graduates, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna jack my aura. Barbecue, uh, the temperature's dropping, 375. That's all right. Uh, we're still rising. We're rising. So season. I put a little rat in there, put a little Worcestershire sauce, give it a little burst of flavor, a little ketchup to keep it moist. Okay. No, it's crazy. Just, you know, basic. I'll probably be good. Is that a, that's that's a mayo? Yeah, oh, I, 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 so wait, you talking about me putting ketchup oh, in my drink? Mayo in the mixture? Mayo in the mixture? You don't do that. What do you mean? No? I, I was waiting for you to finish what you mayo was doing. Mayo in the mixture, you got right? You. This is different. It's crazy, man. I've never heard of that. Never heard of the mayo in the actual. Look at why I mean, you mix it up like that. No, I'm not asking you from a competitive standpoint. I'm asking for the for the viewers now. Why? Now I'm doing journalism. I'm not, I'm not, I put my competitors. The reason why I mix it up, I, I grind, because then when I make the patty, it'll come around, it'll be sharp, and it won't be All no right, extra okay. good. It's, right. like, it's like if you smoke weed, you use a grinder. So you know, right. I'm trying to be a grinder on the burger. That shit look like you got sickle cell. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it's no shit. It might give you sickle cell, you eat it too much. Oh, man. Uh, you ain't going to eat This shit a fuck a fat bitch diet up. A fat bitch will lose everything. She'll lose her mother to get one you of these. You wanna eat after this guy? What he talks? <laughs> you gotta find some type of loot. That's crazy. Uh, and then, so, you, like, even when you see my burger, right, you don't see all the salt, the pepper, the seasoning, because nice they're supposed to be in it. Like, I, I hate them. And that's one thing about, like, when black people cook food, they like, <laughs> they use too much salt, pepper. You don't got to use that much. That's crazy the, the taste right is now. gonna cook in. That's crazy right now during Black Lives Matter. Huh? Say that. That's crazy. I'm sorry. When you make rice, do you use butter or oil? Both. That was the best answer to tell you. <laughs> you look, look, look. See, all right. That's what I'm like. That shit look nice. Listen, so like when I when I when I when I you know grind it up so to speak, I don't do it too. I do it lightly. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to keep it juicy. It's not good to uh, press it too much because you want to make sure your burger is juicy. Yeah. Once he's going to grill, how long does it take? Um, it all depends. It's, uh, it, it's, it's different ways I cook. I, I, I cook for white, Spanish, and black. If it's okay. white, you know, the blood will probably be wrong. I just cook for everybody. I don't look at it necessarily yeah, a, cool. a specific it's color. A I just answer. cook for, for the people. Yeah, yeah. For, for the taste. Yeah. I mean, no, I cook for the people. I don't say, oh, I'm cooking for a white guy. No. But if I get Chinese food, nigga, I don't want macaroni and cheese. So I'm, I'm whatever, whatever who I'm cooking for is who I'm a supply and make it right. I'm like, I just want you to get to that. I am, I am. I am. I'm, I'm looking for geek. Communication. Yeah. I know, you feel a little yeah. nervous. You're on the ropes. I'm, nigga, I'm on your show. That's nigga. how I'm I'll a visitor. That's how I'm a visitor. I'm speaking, home, of being, wait, speaking of being on the ropes, Mike Tyson coming back here with Roy Jones Jr. How y'all feel about the the Xbox is coming back? How we, how, how y'all feeling about that? What's, uh, what's the vibe with that? Um. Wow. That's a good question. What's your start on with? As far as the Xbox shit, Xbox to me is like Android. I need a PlayStation. I need I need I need the Apple. So I'm not, I'm, I'm waiting for that, that new Sony to come out, which, which should be out next month. So you're not you're not worried about the no opinion on the Tyson Jones shit? No. Tyson Tyson. I wouldn't Tyson fight all day. I wouldn't fight Tyson. I don't Hell really no. Know. I got a Tyson story. Tyson's an animal. The first time I met Mike Tyson was it had to be right after he won the championship and won the heavyweight title. I think it's about I think it was like uh it might have been I think it was like 1986. Nice. And I was with my man Yami. I was with my man Yami. Rest in peace. And me and Yami we did something that I don't want to talk about. And we went up to the Apollo, we bought some Louis Vuitton jackets and some brown valleys. And we had the Louis hat and, and the Louis jackets. And you know I thought I was on top. So we went up to the Apollo and Mike Tyson pulled up as we were in front of the Apollo. And that's the first time I ever seen a white, a Lamborghini Jeep. And um, Mike Tyson pulled up, and it was crazy because I'm like, no, oh, that's Mike Tyson. And Yami's like, like, you know, like it's nothing. And when Mike Tyson saw Yami, like he went crazy. And he was telling his man, he was like, yo, this dude right here, yo, yo man, if he got in the box and I'd be in trouble, like he was really like glorifying Yami, like. 
I mean, I knew Yami was like one of the nicest, exceptional dudes I've seen with his well, hands. Yeah. In a street fight, but it was like, it was it threw me off that for Mike Tyson to be like, Recognize exalted my man. So, rest in peace, Yami. But uh, it was uh, my, Mike Tyson was dope for, I got a story with Mike Tyson too. So I go, so I had to go I had to go to um LA. So I went to do a song with Dion Warwick. Mm -hmm. So she had like it was a, like a peace song, a we are the world song. So it was me, Kito, um Bobby Brown, uh, yeah, Jaheen, it was, so it was like man artists on it. It was an event. Yeah, so now we doing the song, I come outside, so Bobby Brown bring me in the bathroom. He said you got coke on you. I said, Yeah, nigga. So, I'm about to play. <laughs> so, so, cause out there, I, I, nigga, I know. I, so, the nigga I know gave me. I said, "Hey, I got a shot." So we come outside an hour later, and his car is towed. So Bobby Brown's car. Well, oh, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. So now we go outside. Now Mike Tyson pull up. He got a driver with him. So nigga Bobby Brown walks on the easy. I'm like, oh shit, nigga, I need hundred dollars. My car got towed. So that nigga Mike Tyson looked at him with the baby voice and said, I ain't got nothing for you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you got, I ain't I got, got a goddamn dollar for you, bro. I got nothing for you, bro. Yo, you, you gotta you gotta you gotta yeah. like look at him like and just just see like his whole his whole transition and his whole walk, man. Like yeah. he he was up, he was on the bottom, so to speak. And he just came back, like to me, that's a true champion. A true champion is not just in the ring. But the true champions outside of it. All right, let's get to the button. Yeah, he was the, oh, okay. All right. What's crazy about Mike Tyson at the same time, his resurgence now. I don't know. I just seen him on a Shark Week, Shark Week commercial with goggles and flip flops and coming back in the podcast game has brought him back into the forefront and, and the greatness and seeing him. Not doing, not getting fucked up, just smoking weed and just chilling. Oh, I that? think weed beautiful. is like one of the best things. Yeah, it's beautiful. For Mike Tyson, you know? Cause I watched some shit the other night, or yesterday, by the Yo. <laughs> Tyson is ill, man. Tyson don't play. He is ill, man. So like, he's doing his thing, man. He looks like he, looks like he found his balance, you know All right, so bring it back to the cookie. You push him, push him in, in the center. What's that about? In the center, pushing yeah. it in, yeah. pushing, you make it like a little, little hole in the middle. Yeah, because the burger is gonna, is gonna swell up. Okay. First of all, these grills, right? They stick, so you gotta use a little oil, right? Use oil and wipe this shit down when you put the burger. Just wait. Just sit. Make sure you do my side too. Damn, it's hot. Thank you, baby. It's love right there. Why not, nigga? I gotta give the nigga oil on his ass. Ooh, hot. Woo! See, I put the dent in the burger like this, so when it swells up, I'm gonna burn it over there. But let's close that. Nah, that's all right. Let's talk about that. Ten minute break. So, we're gonna put out some music, let the burgers do they do. Right, right, right. Got trash flush, burger battle. Shit, Come back to you soon on the channel. He talked about my Macho told me to do it. Macho, Macho did it. It's Macho's fault. Macho told me to do it. I said, Macho, look, I got this one, he got that. Macho said, you who's this? That's Macho's fault, my name. Word. Just. They say a dead man can't talk. Niggas want beef, but they call pork. Till your body's tracing that white chalk. Even when I sleep, I gotta keep a hawk. Never know what niggas want on my fork. Real niggas never take no loss. Boy, you flush known as a street boss. Fuck with your bitch and then a the bitch lost. Honor me and mine, the modernized new Supreme Team. Five star triple OG. I'm like a hundred keys. My style was never free. I paid the cost to move majorly. Name written on scriptures and same pages. David me. Police like the vibe this beast. That's why they hating me. Moving like Romans and Greeks. The same basically. That's why I stay sucker free. Salute me, the greatest G. Emerge from the graveyard blocks. Me and my faculty. An extra gun on my wife waist, wife waist. And spend a half a meal just to be the case, be the case. Bad boy praying like I sound mace A T.I.'s wife trying to escape 
Beat real young nigga called Rake I'm a king to your queens, call it checkmate I took her from the block to the best way Fuck her for an hour, bitch get home the best way I ain't best find a thing dropping I put that on a later date Major weight, I spit jewels that make women I relate My state crime boss control be on the tri-state Wait, I be on just like Ponce de Leon Lace Cost a hundred thou Iraqis for me to be the case Only brave men can face and we stay regulating my deep Royal flush, ways with more cheat than the mason We the boss of forces in the game, respect the occupation Do it, do it, do it. So we're back, we're back on the beat Yeah, yeah, yeah the host with my co-host, Mr. At, a.k.a. The Fixer. Hey, yes. Yeah. Back with our special guest, our very uh, authentic, organic guest, Thank the you. governor. Thank you. Thank you. Baby, you did it yourself, man. Uh. The governor, the mayor, the president, and all of that, man, a.k.a. The Grand Capo, Royal Flush. Now, yes. we just had a cook-off. We went burger for burger. Actually, he made five. I made four. He was on the fifth. He made three. I was on the fifth. Four. Four. No, I made four. Okay. I'm chiseled, baby. I, Listen, no. um... We're back. I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm a little nervous. But like I said, man, either way, even if Flush wins, respectfully. It don't matter. I had a great fucking time. Me man. too. And you went I to don't. cooking school. So for me it's a come up. No, I'm saying. All that matters is you went to cooking school. Man. I mean, he got a certificate. Back. I got kicked out though. No. After 18 months is the whole course. It don't remix it. I'm Listen. To, I'm trying to fix it. I'm sorry. It ain't nothing to fix it. <laughs> Damn, man. So Mr. At, I'm gonna I'm hand it to you because yes. I can't really All right, so judge myself. We cut the burgers in half. We right. gave them to five people. Right. Pilates, we switched the plates up to make sure nobody knew whose was what, right. what, it, what it was. It was three to two. Trash got it. And it's it up! Happy birthday! Oh, Give it up! Give it up! Give it up! There you go. I, I was a little nervous too. It, it was tough. I'm gonna tell, tell you where you beat me at. The tomato. Oh, that's a, that's something about the tomato. The tomato. That's what it was. Like, like, oh, oh, I, I watch. I watch. I prep shit. Tomato one. Oh, you, you did a lot. You did, yeah, th no, thanks for telling no. me how I beat you. Yeah, why not? After I beat you. Happy birthday. So why you ain't put a tomato on? Because I'm not. It's your birthday. You put pickles. It's your birthday. You put mayonnaise. No, no, no. That's your birthday. Damn, that shit was deep. Nigga, did you hear what they said? They said three, two. They ain't say three, sir. So my shit was good with you, nigga. They loved it. That was good, though. It was two, two until the end of the last one. Oh, man. So, hey yo, this was beautiful. This is my heart, my nigga. No matter how much I give it in, he gives it up too. We love each other. That's my brother. That's the hardest. I'ma get him on something else. I ain't really good with the grill. I'm better with goddamn it with the with the pot. So I have to have you back, baby. Yo, I wanna you thank you. I wanna thank I wanna thank everybody for coming. I yes. wanna thank uh my, my first DJ really, like my first DJ with my first DJ in a, in, a, in a major sense, Joe Fatal for pulling up, Christ Castro, Macho on the grill, you know what I'm saying? It's all real. Frank, Frankie, AKA Dr. Meat Rocket, my yes. man Rodney, my man Wayne, everybody, man. So much people to mention, man. But uh, this I love, I love all y'all for the support, man. Everything's Thank gracious, man. Thank y'all. Keep watching on the chat. Keep watching. Christ Castro, my bro, on the production. And of course, Mr. Act, man. Yo, but before we go, I uh, spanked you, Flush. Flush, you gotta sign accident. the apron, baby. I you gotta sign you. the apron. By accident. You gotta by sign accident. the apron. By fucking one. I'm so happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's like, finally, I can relax. I really beat him. Hard. <laughs> On the chow, baby. That's how it goes. Looks so 